I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Luke chapter 19, verses 36 to 39. As Jesus rode along, the crowds spread out their garments on the road ahead of him. When he reached the place where the road started down the Mount of Olives, all of his followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. Blessings on the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in highest heaven. But some of the Pharisees among the crowd said, Teacher, rebuke your followers for saying things like that. Palm Sunday was a day full of surprises. Many people had hoped that Jesus might be the one who would kick the hated Romans out of the land. It would have suited them well if he'd turned up on an impressive war horse and had led a rebellion. But that wasn't Jesus' way. Instead, he turned up on a donkey of all creatures. Donkeys are undoubtedly attractive and lovable, but you would hardly start an uprising with one. As he did so often, Jesus turned people's expectations upside down. Indeed, everything that would happen in the coming week was going to shock them to the core. People reacted very differently to Jesus on Palm Sunday. There were some who showed him their respect by laying down their coats on the road and who shouted and sang their praises. They recognised that Jesus truly was the Messiah, sent by God to bring hope to the nation. But then there were the Pharisees, who were appalled by this outburst and who encouraged Jesus to rebuke his noisy supporters. But Jesus informed them that the praising couldn't be stopped because if they ceased to praise him, the stones along the road would burst into applause. This Easter, there will be very different reactions to Jesus. Some will want to offer him their worship, while the majority of people will be completely unmoved by it all. But be sure of this, the praises of Jesus will go on. They cannot be stopped. So let me ask you a question. What do you make of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey? Now let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you that through your Son, we learn what it really means to be a servant. Help us to be willing to be your servants today. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.